people welcome or welcome back to my channel so today i'm back with this look which is very soft and romantic dewy skin and everything good so if you want to learn how to get this look then please keep on watching but for that do not forget to like my video subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time i upload now let's get started starting off with the bare face i have used l'oreal micro essence a Requil Radiance Cream and Plum Sunscreen as uh, skincare. Now using Maybelline Master Prime to prime my face. This is the mattifying one. Then using Bondless Way Concealer from Too Faced to conceal any problematic area like under my eyes, around my nose, around my mouth and any spot I have on my face. Like you can see, and now taking a small concealer brush, I will be blending everything out seamlessly. I prefer a concealer brush over a flat top brush because this gives a more seamless finish. The skin looks like more skin like if that makes any sense so yeah that's the reason I love that and on the spot area I will be stippling that in and not dragging that now using this color cream from YBB cosmetics in the shade goddess to highlight my face this is a cream highlighter you can even mix this with your foundation if you are a foundation wearer and blending that color cream or the highlighter with the foundation brush as you can see and anything left on the brush I will be sweeping it across my face like on the temples on my nose and on my chin and I will be setting that in with my pack mineralized lightning powder in the shade 03 I will be setting my whole face now this powder gives a very luminous or satin finish very good for dry skin and very good if you're trying to achieve that glowy look so yeah setting everything in and now using this blush from Rimmel which I don't know what's the shade which has been discontinued and using this with the stippling brush duo fry with stippling brush because I feel like that gives a more seamless finish now there's a tip for you Always use the brush in a more intuitional way, like you can feel and not drag it in this way, as I'm showing you right now. Nope, nope, that's not the way. Stipple this or like swipe it gently. Putting some blush on my nose too because that looks cute. And now using this Nika Sizzle Chisel Contouring and Highlight Duo to contour and highlight my face. I will be taking this tapered eyeshadow brush. I love this using as a uh, as, as for contouring my nose. And now taking that powder brush, I will be blending that. Now taking a sponge. I will be giving everything a final blend so everything is seamless and looks skin like. Now taking this fluffy highlighter brush and using the highlighter from that contouring duo from Nika, I will be highlighting the face over where we place that cream highlighter and try to blend in that powder highlighter that gives a more skin like finish. It will look like you are glowing from within and something is just not lying on top of your face just touching on up on the blush and meshing that up with the highlighter so everything appears like one now taking the sugar arc arrival eyebrow pencil I never show my eyebrow because I think I am very bad at that I just draw some line above and below my eyebrow and fill that in and just brush that out yeah and that is how I do my eyebrows I'm not good at that. Now taking Huda Beauty Metal and Matte Melted Eyeshadow. These are cream eyeshadow. Using the matte side. 
I will be placing the color on the lids as you can see and blend that out. In place of that you can use any cream eyeshadow like one from the K-Beauty range that is also very good. You can use the uh, matte one and a shimmery one to create this exact look with different colors. I will be using the matte side on my lower lash line also and blending that out. As you can see. Now using the metallic side or the shimmery side, I will be placing it like just over my iris area till my crease as you can see. Now the problem with this particular shade or with this particular formula is as soon as you go on to go touch it with your fingers it just pick up the color and I don't know why that's a very weird thing this stuff does. Now I'm going on with a brush to blend the harsh areas like the corners and you can see I have it picked up the color so I again went, went in with the metallic shade doing the same on the other side also but this time I'm directly going with the brush to blend out the edges as you can see Now taking pack cold pencil in black, I was looking out for a brown liner, liner, a cold pencil but couldn't find one so yeah. You can use any color of your choice, brown would have looked softer but black is also looking good. Now drawing a line over my lash line area just like a liner and then blending that out to give it a more soft, diffused and smoky look. doing the same on the other eye also bringing the color into my lower lash line also now using this bad girl bang mascara from benefit I have done the mascara routine off camera because I make very weird faces. Now taking the same highlighter, I will be highlighting under my eyebrows, on the tip of my nose and on the cupid's bow with a small detailing brush for the precision purpose. You can also use a small fan brush or even your highlighter or your pinky finger, anything you have available. I'm not a huge fan of liquid lipstick but I'm thinking of doing a best red lipstick video so this is the shade I'm using today this is uh, Maybelline Superstay Ink in shade Pioneer it's a beautiful shade but oh my god the stickiness is out of this world this was so uncomfortable to wear Like on this clip you can see the stickiness uh, nope, nope, not liking it now I thought of using false eyelashes so I used this back lash fixer to stick on my false lashes I'm using half lashes a uh, false eyelashes I just have just cut off a full set of lashes into half now in this video I thought of doing something extra but for that, I will be going on with a liquid liner to conceal the lash band. Lash band. <laughs> yes. Now, guys. I cannot do my hair to save my life but I thought of doing something for the video so now I'm just brushing out my hair and I thought of doing a loose uh, bun sort of a thing middle parting does not look good on me so I'm doing a side part not exactly a side part but kind of a middle part 
it is better seen in the video taking my hair in the back and just bringing the, that into a bun jura jisko bolte hai simple tying that up as you can see this bringing out small pieces of hair to frame my face just loosening the bun and with that we are done with this look i hope you guys enjoy this look and would like to recreate it and if you did do not forget to tag me on my instagram and do not forget to follow me on my instagram handle will be the description box below so yeah please like this video if you enjoy it and i'll see you in my next video <laughs>